Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a vulnerability disclosure ethics drama. Today's story is more about the details of a vulnerability disclosure than the actual vulnerability itself. First, let's cover the highlights. A security organization calling themselves MedSec found some alleged security vulnerabilities in some medical devices from a company called St. Jude's Medical. And these are things like uh, pacemakers and defibrillators that would actually be embedded in your body. Now, of course, medical device vulnerabilities are always kind of interesting to the security community, but the big deal about this particular news isn't the vulnerabilities themselves, but how MedSec actually disclosed these to the company that had the vulnerabilities. Long story short, before disclosing these vulnerabilities, MedSec partnered with an investment firm, and they did something called shorting the stock. And if you don't follow stock trading, that really has to do with you're betting on a company's stock going down because that allows you to make money. MedSec shorted the stock before actually publicly disclosing these vulnerabilities, which of course caused the stock to go down and presumably that made MedSec some money. So the big drama here is the ethics around this disclosure. Now, if you've watched my content historically, you probably know I have some beliefs on what I believe is responsible disclosure. I'm actually for researchers finding vulnerabilities in products and actually fully disclosing all the details about those vulnerabilities to the world with one caveat. I believe that the researchers should report them to the company first, privately, and give the company time to fix the flaws before actually publicly disclosing them. And that's not because I think the researcher should be helping out the company, it's because often there's customers you're putting at risk. Now in the past there's been cases where researchers have made an argument to be more aggressive. If a vendor isn't actually reacting to their disclosure, if they're not fixing the flaws, ultimately you do have to publicly disclose them to kind of pressure companies into fixing those flaws. Now in this case though, not only is this public disclosure pressuring the company into fixing the flaws, but there's also this ulterior motive of making money from shorting the stock. What are the ethics around that? Anyways, it's just a very interesting story and the reason I bring it up is today's news is St. Jude Medical is actually now suing MedSec because they basically say the disclosures are misleading and false and they did affect their stock. So to be interesting to see how this played out. Now really, I want to know what your thoughts are on this. Is this ethical? You know, the researcher argument is it's a lot of work to find these vulnerabilities. They should make money for finding them. And in some cases, if companies aren't reacting or aren't fixing these flaws, they need to publicly pressure them. So their argument is the ends justify the means. This sort of situation might make companies think twice about releasing vulnerable product. On the other hand, they're really not doing customers favors by not giving a company time to privately fix the flaws before the whole world knows about them. On top of that, I think most companies are starting to work very well with security researchers. Over time, smart companies have realized the immense value that these researchers are providing them by helping them fix the products. So I think this kind of situation where you're kind of extorting companies or trying to find a way to make money off their pain kind of poisons that whole vendor researcher uh, relationship, which I think think has been getting better over time if you look at past companies. Anyways, it's kind of an interesting information security drama. I'm kind of interested in your thoughts. Do you think uh, shorting a stock before releasing a vulnerability is ethical? Should it be against the law? What are your thoughts on this case? Anyways, that's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.